In this short video, I will demonstrate how a simple Ansible playbook and pure storage data services can be used to refresh multiple Oracle databases in parallel. Before I start, let me explain what you can see on the screen. In the dark green panel, you will see the running Ansible playbook. In the top right corner is a clock showing the time. In the bottom blue panels, you can see six virtual machines, Z Oracle 2 through to Z Oracle 7. Finally, in the light green panel is a top session running on our production Oracle database server. You will notice that this will not get impacted at all by the cloning process. OK, now let's talk about the playbook. The playbook will start by dynamically creating the SQL and operating system scripts and copying them to each of the target servers. This avoids any configuration and version issues. We will then take a crash consistent non-disruptive storage snapshot of the production database volumes. We then stop the non-production databases on the six target database servers, unmount the database file systems, refresh the volumes and remount the volumes. At this point, the non-production volumes are the same as the production system. So the playbook continues using Oracle SQL and operating system commands to rename the databases, data files and directory. Once Oracle's completed the database task, the Ansible playbook ends and reports the duration for the each task. OK, now let's see it go. OK, we are now shutting down the Oracle databases on our non-production servers. Unmounting the file systems refreshing the volumes, and remounting the file systems. We will now start the databases up on our non-production database servers. And as you can see, they've come up with the same name as production. We could leave it here, but it's best practice to rename the database to something other than the production database name. We will now bounce the database as we rename the databases. We rename the directories at the operating system and then use Oracle to rename the data file names. And there you have it. In less than two and a half minutes, we have refreshed six systems from our production database. Most of that time taken up with Oracle Startup. 67 seconds and change database name 28 seconds. Thank you for watching.